Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sina Kangai, definitely the one who's always behind Kangai Creation, and I am very excited today. Um, so on today's video, I will be doing my favorite look, which is, I mean, my favorite color. Sorry. So I'll be doing my favorite color, which is purple. For those who know me, those who watch Twitter and things about me, know that um, I like purple. So I'm going to create some purple look today and um yeah so i just hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, <laughs> i'll also be sharing with you five most embarrassing things that just i just want to share five and uh, i don't even know if they'll reach five but i want to share with you guys five embarrassing moments of my life like all through my life like five embarrassing things that i want to share with you guys some will be funny some will just be like what's wrong with you chick but yeah five embarrassing moments and yeah one of the most embarrassing moments i think i shared with you guys but uh apa, we will not talk anymore and hat one zikazi so i will start by priming my eyelids or preparing my my eyelids for the eyeshadow. This so anyway. So as you all know, I did a video to chant things about me, and on that video I I shared with you some things about me and one of the things I was there was an embarrassing was an embarrassing moment that I went through and yeah if you don't know that one kindly go back to that video go just go back to that video and get to know that that one so that one was actually has actually been my biggest has actually been my biggest embarrassing moment so the other embarrassing moments that I'm gonna share are mostly um, childhood embarrassing moments. Yeah, childhood. Like, remember on that video when I said, "Eh, the story about when I was a child." Like, that's a video on its own. Yeah, because eh, that video has some um, some drama and drama and drama. So let's first. Let me first start. So I'm gonna be using my beauty glazed palette. I haven't used this palette in a long while. So this is the palette I'm going to be using for this look. And I'm gonna start with this, this one. Hey, me hapa, Tina Kangai as a child. I have always been, um, a very stubborn girl like hey, hey like i have aunties who can just be like whoa yeah this chick was stubborn yeah so i have always been a very stubborn girl okay so it's that right now when i think about it um that part of me was just was just so embarrassing like it was just when i think about it right now i'm like i'm like hey that part of me was just like like what what exactly was my problem you know like now that's what i'm asking myself like yo check what exactly was the problem you know so the first one when i was small I loved to I love to eat a lot you know I loved I don't know was I I don't know what to call it greedy or what but I loved to eat a lot so my dad um, used to buy what is it crates like crates of soda and stack them up and yeah put them in the store like in the kitchen store so the kitchen store was always being locked, you know, so like when my parents did shopping, they would put food stuff there and then when they finish in the kitchen, that's when they leave, they remove them. 
So that was what was happening. So Mimi Hapa Napenda soda. And this soda, I man, I never used to get why this soda uh, we couldn't drink it all the time, you know, like that would only give you on like very little like once a week or something or if you did something nice you have the opportunity to have to drink that soda you know now like it was kitambo kitambo so i may never got it like me I, I want to drink soda when i want to drink soda so one day i decide on a sunday that i want to drink the soda it was in the evening like my journey like before before bedtime, because now you see Monday is, is school, I decide I want to go and drink soda. So my parents are, are watching TV. So I actually think it was that time for the Stomawa Paradise Uboka. So I decide to go and uh, drink soda. <laughs> so I took my dad's stockies and went into the store to drink soda. So, um, so he came to the kitchen and noticed the store was open. So I think in his head he was like, um, why did I leave the store open? So he closed it. Me, I'm inside drinking my soda. And I can see the door is being closed. And because of my fear, because eh, my, my dad was tricked. So because of my fear, I can't tell him that I am in the store. You know, like I have, I, I, yeah, like I, hey, my parents, my parents were strict and tough. So I feared and um, I couldn't say that I am in the store drinking soda. So I left the door closed. I am inside. Um, wait, I'm looking for a brush. What other kind of brush to use for this? Maybe you should just use this one. So, the door to the store does what? Close it. My dad thinks he left the, the door. And he's asking himself, why did he leave the door? So he decides to do what? To close the door. His daughter is inside. Doing what? Drinking the soda. And she cannot say. Okay? See, the door closes my people. And I am left there inside. And then now, it gets to a time that they start looking for me. Like, who is this girl? Kumbe, the girl, is here. Inside the store, drinking the soda. <sighs> wow, like, by the way, when I was caught, like, they looked for me, they looked for me. And when I was finally found drinking soda, I'd actually drunk like two bottles of soda. I was in, I was in so much trouble. Like I was beaten. <laughs> I was beaten thoroughly, like thoroughly. And um, I was like, but they eat soda, eat soda, see lazima, see lazima to come eat soda. So yeah, that would be my first. Um, my first embarrassing story that hey, I am Um, okay, yes. Okay, sorry guys, I know I, you know, like, <sighs> this part just needed a lot of concentration. I just needed so much concentration. But, anyways, so guys, the soda story, hey, I was beaten and beaten and i remember that night i just cried sleeping and cried sleeping 
imagine Hey. <laughs> Story number two. So when I was young, of course, my parents were they were strict, you know, like they were really, really, really strict. So because they were strict, um like I was not being allowed to what is it? I was not being allowed to go out a lot and play with people. But Tina here always wanted to go out and play with people. But then she knows very well that her parents are strict and they don't allow that. Ha! Huh? So one one day Tina here decides that she will go. Okay. So Tina here decides that um you know what, me I'm going to play whatever i don't care whatever so i decided to break a window and pass through the window and go play so i go play my mom notices i'm out and hey eh, everything just runs smoothly until my dad comes back home and now i start to shiver like you i am in trouble i am so in trouble and you know what dad comes home and everything is just normal Sunday we go to church and everything is just normal until what happens Monday my dad um, really used to take me to school so Monday it's my dad taking me to school <laughs> and I'm just like uh what changed but okay let's go so I prepare I go to school Monday and what happens he doesn't drop me off, he parks the car and walks me to class. And I'm like, that doesn't happen. <laughs> but okay, we go. And um, wait for everyone to reach until 8 o'clock when school starts. And I'm just beaten in front of the whole class. Like who is teaching me how to break windows? <laughs> and it is obvious, I was beaten. I was like... Wow, that was just another embarrassing moment. Yanni, like the whole class was just like, wow, your dad comes to beat you in school. Like, yeah. Hey, like, just because I couldn't, like, listen. But anyway, that was number two. Like, but then those two, I actually think about them and I'm just like, wow, Tina. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're funny, but it is. So guys, my number three embarrassing um. <sighs> Let me close this part. Right. My number three embarrassing moment would be. Let me remember. So those are two. Wait, I'm looking. Where did I put it? So, guys, after my mascara has disappeared from my room and I can't find it, and that mascara also has the eyeliner, and I wanted to try a winged eye today, and boom, I can't find it anywhere. I guess in anyway. so. I think I'm just gonna put on my lashes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put on my lashes as we talk about. So number one, I was found in the store drinking soda, <laughs> and uh, yeah. And then number two, I was beaten up for breaking the window and uh, beaten up in front of the whole class. So next time we don't repeat the same shit. But anyway. <laughs> Ah, yeah. number three so as i said i know i was like i was quite stubborn but wait before you do number three let me pass it so guys where are we on number three so as i have said i was i was quite stubborn so yeah so um you know at times when you're younger um you never wanted to go to school like the mornings you wake up and you just didn't want to go to school so for me 
that was my situation like there were mornings i would wake up and i just don't feel like going to school so that morning came one day and i decided to be stubborn knowing how strict my parents are i decided to be stubborn and i decided you know what you guys i do not feel like going to school this morning wow and i must why don't you want to go to school and all that and i'm just like i just don't feel like going to school so uh, my dad remember he's a very strict man so he made me just didn't want the drama he's just like okay you don't feel like going to school that is okay and i was just like wow why why was that so easy like you just said okay and he's just like okay you don't feel like going to school fine you do this you just go back to your room and sleep Let me put this other lash and then now I tell you guys uh, where the drama goes in. I actually feel like, you know, I mixed up my lashes the other day. Now I'm confused. Like, I don't know which lash is. Where lash? I don't know or don't remember which lash is which lash. So, if my lashes look funny, guys, I'm sorry. I mixed them up. So, anyway. Where was I? I didn't feel like going to school and um, and um, at this point <laughs> oh I didn't feel I don't know I'm confused so I didn't feel like going to school so my dad was like okay you just do do this you go to sleep and you go to school tomorrow so I was so excited like hey this was so easy like easy like he just accepted <sighs> my god you guys can't really remember that my dad was so strict and um there's no way you can be wasting his school fees you know like he he was strict when i say he's strict he was strict so those who have seen my dad know so what happens i I'm gonna use a brush today to blend my foundation. I go to my room, super excited. I'm not going to school today, so I'll chill. I'll go to sleep, wake up, eat, watch cartoons, and all that. Ah, I go to my room. What happens? My dad comes after and locks me in my room. So, Mr. Chana, you thought you are going to watch cartoon and not go to school, ha? Huh? you i was locked up to sleep and sleep all i want let me tell you so me when i wake up i, I notice my room is not open so our help comes and tells me that locked you so you just get out to eat lunch and then you go back so my dad used to come home to eat lunch these days so from work so when he comes, he'll open for me, eat lunch, and then I will do what? Head back to my room to sleep. See, I wanted to sleep. There, my sleep is. I will sleep all I want. Hey, let me tell you guys. Like that day, I just couldn't wait for that day to end. So that the next day, I wake up before all of them and um, be ready to go to school because uh, <laughs> that was not an interesting experience so that is my number that that would be my number three um my number four um so until then you guys you have seen how stubborn i was but yeah Okay, so those are three um, of my childhood behavior. 
so number four would be when i was in i was in primary but class seven i think i was in class seven yeah so i went to a boarding school in class six class six i went to a boarding school so i go to boarding this boarding school that i went to in class six was um it was a mixed boarding school guys So the boarding school that I am taken to in class 6 is next. So, we go to boarding. Um, so boarding school was mixed and all that. Like it was, it was hard for me, like, you know, not, not staying at home and all. So later on, I get used. I make friends. I, I get used. So boarding, um... I had a boyfriend so was he a boyfriend like until today i asked myself was that my boyfriend or were we just having a thing but anyway i was in class seven yeah i'm stupid <laughs> so i have this guy we go we get close we meet up lunch breaks what 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 when going to the hostels to prepare and then to shower then go for dinner okay supper whatever and then now go for prep so we used to spend time a lot and people used to know that we had a thing so one day um they were announcing the new prefects it was a new year i think it was a new year so they were announcing the the new prefects so that time was in class seven my man's was in class eight so um what happens is it was during parade I don't know, I don't think that day when I woke up at tea, I could say I was not feeling well. I knew I was okay. So went for parade and prefects are being announced. So of course that day for parade, the parade is so, the assembly is so long because of all the announcing of the prefects. So my man happened to be a prefect. I'm looking for my concealer. So my guy happened to be happened to be called as as head boy of the school so at this time when they were announcing prefects okay i was okay but i know i could feel like something is funny with my body like i was not feeling okay but now because of you know like i was those shy scared people so i couldn't have to start walking out of parade and stuff like that so I decided I'm just gonna sit because now what am I going to do? Wait, I want to line my lips. So as I have said, I was not like the whole of the parade. I was feeling I had a weird feeling, but like I was not sure what was going on. Like I was feeling weak and all. So I couldn't uh, do what. I couldn't uh, at least go move away and um, go tell a teacher how I'm feeling. So, because I'm scared, so I decided to just struggle with myself. So I struggled with how I'm feeling until now what happens, my man goes to be announced as head boy. And at that very moment, what happens? I faint. <laughs> story of the school she fainted because her man became head boy and I mean, i'm just like uh first of all so what i don't know i was not feeling well so i actually don't remember anything after like me i just i went i was not remembering anything after i fainted so story of the school i i fainted because my mom was my man my boyfriend rather was announced head boy so of course students know like this and this are together who and who are together but okay i'm sure teachers knew somehow but maybe not all of them so tina here goes and after that i don't remember anything so it was embarrassing because the whole school thought that i i fainted because um 
my man was announced was announced as the head boy so it was the story of the school for quite some time and it was the most embarrassing thing ever and yeah we moved by the way i think we just moved and continued and just never like the story just ended so now look at this brush i feel like my name has not blended well so now we move number that was number four number five what, what would i want to share for number five i think i don't know if high school i can't remember if high school i had so much drama but i'll share i'll share just one number five would be i'm sure okay i know they are many but huh number five i'll just share it from the boarding school that i was in for primary so number five what happens is so we used to have visiting day um we used to have visiting day so on visiting day what happens your parents come they come to see you they bring food snacks whatever you guys you eat with your parents and they go we go and share together at the at the dining hall we share with the gas story and then it gets to a point where now we are what we are being we are being searched because they were not allowing boosts they were not allowing the snacks so what happened here what used to happen is if um if your siblings are in day school you could like they could go home with their snacks and then on monday this when they come they bring the snacks to you like they sneak them in for you so that used to happen so now when i didn't have a sibling like i was the only one <laughs> but anyway, so what happened what happens is it's visiting day parents have come to see us they spent time so apparently on that day there was a story going around the school i don't know like i just don't remember what exactly was happening but there was a certain story going around and i think okay the story was just about eh, my my boyfriend at that time or whatever that we had whatever we were having yeah so kumbe this man has caught has custody card and his boys have also custody card like he had his key his key team so me i don't know what i have done i don't know what the story is all i know is that people are like you are in so much trouble so let me try clean this notes because it has got so much of information so the story in me i know i am in so much trouble with my so-called boyfriend or primary and he's very pissed <laughs> and the guy wants to beat me up so the story he cared me when i was still with my parents so i was really like stressed wondering Allah, mimi what have i done like what is what is all this going around so Guys, by the way, you know I don't know what lipstick to do for this look. I'm just as well do a gloss. So guys, Mimi, I just know I am in trouble like the guy is so so like he's pissed he is really pissed at me
you guys need to remember that now like i am in so much trouble now i am in trouble and i don't know i don't know what i have done i just know he is angry and he is coming for me like when parents go so the whole school now knew this chick eh, this guy is coming for her so i was scared i know like like inside me I was like oh my god should i should i tell my parents i'm about to be beaten should i you know so i just I don't know it has really short. Okay, this is not. So I am in trouble, my people. I am in trouble. The guy is pissed. The whole school now, like all the boarders know. Uh, I am in deep shit. So when parents go, I am actually in trouble. So what used to happen when the parents now go, when they all go, we take us now to the D hall and then we are sent to the field you go collect every wrapper that has been left and all that like just clean up the field because visiting used to be at the field and then go to the d hall now have fun nini, nini, until now evening when we go to the hostels and never used to have prep on that day because guys were extra extra full so i am in trouble what happens when you go to the dining to i mean when you go to the field to clean up and all that now him and his boys now come for me and the whole school knows like people are just seeing i am in trouble and me i'm just like so what's the trouble about because i don't get it so what happens he comes to beat me so mimi i can't let myself be beaten like what have, what's the story like what's the story so me, i just don't know i just decide let's do this let's run to the teacher on duty and hide behind him so the teacher on duty was a convalescent man so him he was just like what's happening because i am running and i'm being followed by all the guys that are coming for me i just so much and i'm just like they want to beat me and he's just like who and but i think the story just reached the headmaster and all that and yeah it was just another embarrassing moment yani because now monday the whole school is just like um yeah yeah and i think that's how our relationship ended like he stopped talking to me and yeah so yeah that's that that would be like number five that i would actually want to share with you people and also this is the look of today so this is what i have created i didn't think uh, it would come out how it has come out but i like i like how it has come out it looks to me i am okay and it looks very lovely and also thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the support you show kangai creation man i am so grateful as a tiny sana in our panda sana nini wate continue subscribing continue liking continue sharing the people who share my video i'm so grateful continue liking continue sharing continue commenting thank you very much and i hope you like this video and also try out the look it's not really bad if you love purple like me well i used a bit of pink but anyway thank you guys um goodbye